Hey friends, long time no see, it's Yuki. Wanted to try out something new here. As you may know, I've streamed a few times, but I'm not so good at talking and drawing at the same time. And I wanted a more easily digestible way for you to watch my drawings and also kind of talk to me and I talk to you vice versa. So I'm trying this out. Let me know what you think about it, but regardless. I'm gonna start doing kind of these speed paint videos where I'm also doing like commentary and such. I've seen it done before, but I'm not sure how exactly to go about it because a lot of those videos are more about what's being talked about and I feel like less about the art. It's kind of like background video, like it, it could just be a still image honestly and I don't think anybody would care, but I would like kind of a little bit of the focus on the art as well, but we'll play it by ear and see how that goes. Without further ado, today I'm drawing Madoka Kaname from the Madoka Magica series. I believe there was some sort of announcement recently about either a reboot or a movie or something coming out, so I figured I'd draw her again. This is my third time doing a print over. She's one of my best girls. I might actually do other characters too this time around, but we'll see. And I'm also talking today about, I know this is cringy, but Tana and Jake Paul and the wedding that happened recently. Usually I'm not the type of person to even like care about that sort of thing, but it's really hot in the media right now. Um, lots of news people are picking that up and I just I wanted to sprinkle your lives with this dumb shit. Let's get into it, friends. So for those of you who don't know who these people are, you've got Tana Mojo, who was this like story time YouTuber, I guess. Sometimes she does beauty and what have you. She's kind of... I don't know how to put this, like a clout chaser. It's the best way to describe her. And then if you have been living under a rock and don't know who this is, Jay Paul, one of the Paulers, one of those, it's just a prank bro, Viner's gone YouTube and does a bunch of dumb things. He's like one additional brain cell firing up at any given time to just melting into a puddle of, I don't even know what. It looks like the lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> but regardless, what's going on between them recently is I guess that they've been beating and they just had this wedding and the the topic of the matter I suppose is this wedding being fake and their relationship being fake. Um, if you don't know about the situation I'll just give like a quick synopsis because I don't think it's interesting enough in and of itself. Basically Tana had some hoopla happen with her boyfriend I believe cheating or something and dum dum Jake was dating some other girl they broke up or something other I don't know, he's been single for a while, but he's not really, doesn't really seem like the type to really latch down to one person. Neither does she, I guess, but Jake and her became like a rebound relationship or something, and they're both clout chasers, I guess, and it was just a great opportunity to combine forces and create a bunch of stupid hoopla. So it's very Kardashian-esque, where there's like nothing of actual content or interesting going on, but a bunch of children are consuming it, and a bunch of drama channels are picking it up. But what's interesting about this matter they kind of dated or announced they were dating. It was kind of like, uh, I don't even know, some sort of like secret or like not a, like a full on thing until they finally were like, I get you got us. We're, do we're doing this now, I guess. Some shit like that. I don't know. But this was like a handful of months ago, like two or three. And I guess within a month or two of them dating, they announced an engagement at Tana's birthday party. I guess we're planning their wedding a month later. So this is a very turbulent scenario. So if you don't know anything about the whole wedding industry, because it is an industry, it's crazy. So for the past about a year and a half, I've been consuming quite a bit of wedding entertainment materials, such as videos, mostly podcasts. I find them to be interesting. I'll be honest, mostly drama ones, but I do occasionally listen to like more life and tips type podcasts as well. Um, the wedding industry is a booming industry and there's a lot of really like, tightly knit traditions and I'm pretty sure that Tana and Jake management teams, especially Jake's, were all like, we need to cash in on this. I don't think the two of them really caught on to that. And I mean, this is a booming industry, you guys. The average cost of a wedding where I'm living is about 33 
thousand US dollars, which is a lot. That's like a car. <laughs> Some people are spending as much as an entire house on their wedding. It's really crazy. Going cheap with a wedding is like ten thousand dollars. And needless to say, when you put celebrities into the mix, this is a million dollar or millions of dollars like scenario. But there's just there's so much like drama and culture and honestly like rushing the situation really shoots them in the foot. It's so crazy, you guys. I debated dabbling in maybe designing for weddings and stuff because, you know, they're pretty, they're cute. You know how I am about things that are pretty and cute. No. <laughs> I decided to back that train up and there's a lot of the professionals in the industry that kind of like retire from it really early because it's just a whole bunch of crazy hoopla. But really, a whole mine of untapped potential of like clout, I guess. It could have been huge and I mean, it still was huge. It's like headlining right now. But one thing I really wanted to talk about, I wanted to go into like responses I've seen and like the whole situation because people are like, oh, they're shitty, they're like soulless people, blah blah blah, how could they lie, they're the scum of the earth, yada yada, especially since, you know, that whole live stream thing where they were charging people to watch their shitty quality wedding live stream and all that. I mean, one thing has to be laid out, first and foremost, no shit, you guys. <laughs> Clearly these aren't you know, Nobel Peace Prize winners. They're not doing anything, they're not accomplishing anything in society that really benefits anybody besides themselves. You know, who cares? I know that's ironic coming from me and I'm talking about it right now, but why are you getting heated about something that doesn't really affect you? Or hopefully anybody you know. I don't know anybody out there, at least in my circle of acquaintances and all that, who's getting any sort of affected, <laughs> you know? No one's spending the money on these people, no one's really watching these videos. And those who like maybe do watch videos about them, it's like a secondhand thing. They're not watching from their YouTubes themselves, but they're watching from other people. And don't get me wrong, like, attention is still attention. These people are still making money off of it, but, you know, it's just, it's not enough to get heated about. There's a topic, I guess, I wanted to throw into the mix, and not a lot of people are gonna agree with me, maybe, but I wanted to just kind of chat about it, get some feedback from you guys, have a little conversation, and that's the whole, the sanctity of marriage. So, Tana has that whole MTV show, and... And it, she and Jake kind of let it slip in a way that the whole thing is for clout, I guess. It, it's a marketing thing. I mean, not that maybe they're not like genuinely, genuinely dating or anything like that. I think they might have a relationship, but they're obviously not like, you know, exclusive to each other. They're just still getting some side meat, I believe, or they're not really in it to dedicate to each other. I'm not fully positive, but they still kind of, you know, let it slip that they're they're not in it for the, the love. They're not in it for the full relationship. Relationship. It doesn't really matter to them. What matters to them is, you know, making those dollars, getting more followers, and just causing a ruckus on the internet because they can. And they did. And I feel like a lot of people are really heated because this is, in fact, the wedding industry. This, this is the, the sanctity of marriage that has been ultimately threatened by people. And people are salty about it. They're like, you shouldn't marry if you don't love each other. Which in some ways I really do agree. If you don't really trust somebody, why are you going to legally bind yourself to them? But at the end of the day, who cares? <laughs> but I wanted to throw out there a big spicy thought. What you and I might think of as marriage means completely something different across the globe, right? You know, who are we to dictate what a marriage means? You know, if two people sign their lives away to each other legally, that's pretty much all they really have to do. That's the qualifier. It's a legal binding. You know, there, a lightning bolt isn't going to come out and shoot the two of them out of the sky because they decided to get married and they don't love each other or whatever. They could decide that they don't want each other, you know, two weeks after, and nothing really changes. Like, they're fine. They're okay. And because they're so filthy, stinking rich, it's not like they have to worry about problems with divorce and all that, and they don't necessarily have family and all of that. You know, you and I don't know. Obviously, like, it's shitty. 
It is. But I don't feel like they broke any laws. I don't feel like they're in the wrong. It's truly their right. Who are we to, you know, strap down the meaning of this? And I also feel like there's so many people out there that just... They have, like, these traditions so tightly wound up in their butts about what marriage should be. Like, you have to wear a white dress and the husband has to wear a black tuxedo and you have to have your big shiny freaking rock and it's gotta cost a whole bunch of dollars you know stuff that's that doesn't matter i don't know in a happy relationship or a functional relationship there's a lot of traditions that just don't matter but people are so judgmental and like almost personally hurt now obviously i don't want any like personal gain out of this i'm not trying to say like i'm hurt um please drop your traditions it's it's affecting me but more so just to put like food for thought in people's brains in other countries marriage is basically like women are treated as property you might be just pushed off to someone else at 13 14 do i agree with that no is it any of my business probably not i'll be honest i don't like it but it's not my business i'm not affected by it so i'm not hurt you know if there's something out there i could do to help those girls then by all means you know but it's not my business and it's not my place to say that it's not a true marriage but i feel like all these like traditions and what people think that it means is just dumb and it prevents a lot of people from you know different backgrounds and different lifestyles from being able to have the luxury to say i'm married to somebody because people don't want to validate it in their eyes be it because of like stigma or religion whatever stupid reasons like, obviously having a religion is not stupid, but invalidating someone else's experiences because of what you think something is or isn't, I feel like is kind of shitty. You know what I mean? Like, you could think that there's only two genders, but, you know, if your pal thinks that they're whatever the heck, you're still probably going to validate them, right? You're still going to try to give them the most comfortable experience you can, because it's, it's their choice how they want to live their life. It's not your choice. But, like, people are so heated. Like, like, I've seen a couple of videos and, you know, usually the response to this sort of thing is like funny, you know, people think this sort of thing is hilarious, which people do, but there's also super fired up people. Like, people are mad. They are so angry. How dare these two people have a fake wedding and charge money? Who cares? Who cares? Gay people can get married. Rich people can get married. Dumb people who don't love each other can get married. I honestly don't think it's for real. I just think they want to be in news articles. But if that's what they want to do, then shit, do it. They're making the dollars. They are making the cash money. From my advice to anybody listening, at least if you're in the US, I'm not sure how things are in other countries, but if you and somebody else are thinking about getting married, definitely think really hard and long about it. Cause chances are you don't have the clout. <laughs> That, um, Tana and Jake do, you're probably not going to be able to bounce back from, like, a divorce or something if it's true or not. Or being in the public eye, whatever it may be. You gotta put some thought into this, because like I mentioned before, this is a legal binding of two people. You guys are attached to each other via government means, if I am explaining this correctly. It, it has a lot of meaning. It's more than just a relationship, obviously. You and this person are bound together financially, all, all kinds of stuff. Your health insurance, it's, it's a lot. And there's actually people who have loved each other very much and have actually had to get divorced because of, you know, the laws and whatever, because it doesn't benefit them, even though they still loved each other and they still wanted to be together for life. It's something to think about. And I know, I don't know if I still do, I'm not positive, but I know in the past I've had very, very young followers and all that. And if you're a girl or even a dude or whatever else in between, and you're really aspiring to get married in the future, I think it'd be most appropriate if you let go of whatever stigma you have as to what weddings are because beyond that legal contract between you and another person it can be whatever you want it to be to some degree it's really heavy but at the same time it doesn't have to be the big pretty dress and the big cake and a big old party like a wedding can just be two people signing a piece of paper don't aspire your entire life or like the most exciting part of your life to be this moment. Cheesy or not, enjoy the time that you have right now 
with whoever it is, be it if you're single, if you're together with somebody, and marrying them does not strengthen your relationship any more than it will be tomorrow. It It's not going to magically earn you money unless you're in this industry and your name is Tana or Jake. And I guess if you're heated about it, get over it, Grandma. Let people live. That was a little, little splash of a side topic before I go. So, Ninja has left Twitch to exclusively stream on Mixer. And I think that's really interesting and probably a good thing. Not to roast our friends at Twitch, but also to roast our friends at Twitch. They got some issues, and I think they need to start to learn and understand that they do not have a monopoly. This is a free market. So if they are not treating people the way that they need to be treated, people are going to start leaving. And it's awesome that Ninja has left Twitch to go to Mixer because he's got the following to really make this something that matters. You know, if you're your average old you know, Jane or John Doe streaming on Twitch, moving to Mixer probably isn't going to benefit you unless you, you know, you have that bigger following. And now he is one of the biggest streamers out there. It's, it's a big deal and he's taking his fans with him and that's a large chunk of revenue that Twitch is losing. So you'd think it'd give him a nice hearty slap on the wrist. And maybe they'll do something. I don't know. Hopefully so. I think a lot of these um, these companies, especially video ones, have gotten really cocky and have really screwed people over in different ways. And hopefully this helps things out. <laughs> One can only hope. I, I really hope that beneficial things will come out of this. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for giving it a listen. If there's any issues, give me a heads up so I can work on it. Um, sorry if there's any audio issues. Let me know if this is your cup of tea and you want more in the future. I'll probably talk about more exciting things, so I apologize. Usually this isn't really my thing to talk about, but it's so like right now and I keep seeing it again and again. I just wanted to get it off my chest before it inevitably like moves on and life continues and it, I don't want to be late to the punch or anything like that, but yeah. So I'm sorry for being a little inactive on here. Hopefully a big life change is coming soon, so I might dip for a little bit, but hopefully um, some very good things will happen and I'll be more active. This one was a little off the cuff because it's a first D, so we'll, we'll workshop it. But most importantly, give me your thoughts because I'm curious. Let me know what you think about the situation if you've been following it if you haven't like what what are your thoughts doesn't matter to you at all if it doesn't that's totally fine if there's anything about the art piece that i've been working on that you have any questions comments concerns about please do not hesitate to discuss that with me if there's anything else you need from me well fam hit me up twitter instagram whichever floats your boat it's there for you i'm around sort of but yeah thanks guys catch you later bye